Well, while the dad gamer and I have not been having the greatest of luck, we have had some really good luck. Now this is where we're going to build our base. I'm hoping he's going to be able to join me uh, uh, fairly regularly. He's been um, getting used to Ark. He, um, like with everybody, I think you kind of get into it and you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. But he did really well. Um, the server is really nice. The people in the Old Timers Guild are really just helpful. But they'll they'll le they'll let you go and do your thing and make your mistakes, you know, which is good. So I'd built a secondary raft. This is a raft that's made out of stone. Also, it's made where the raft surface is actually uh, at the level of the or the foundations are at the level of the raft as opposed to above it, like I see a lot of them. It takes a little bit more time, but I like the way it looks better. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But we're gonna take come over here and take a look at some of the things that we have found. Now the ruins, again, are amazing. This is exactly what I want them to be. And I want to leave them kind of natural on the front. I don't really want to really build anything out here. I'm gonna build something up on this plateau, however. This is a great little area, I think. Really flat, clear out all those rocks and trees, and build a house right here with a great view of the ocean and Skull Island, or Batman Island as the kids call it. For the moment, I'm just eking out an existence back here in the back. I've cleared out all the stuff in here. We kept getting killed raptors. Let me tell you, those things are horrible. They were bright red, glowing, and there was nothing we could do to kill them. We just couldn't. So I came back in here, and I put down some metal fencing. An entire row of metal fence, it seems to have helped. I don't know if that's actually going to be proof against them, but it did help. I also picked up this Quetzal, which was really cool. He was level 63, so um, he's got a ways to go because everything around here is two or 300 levels higher. But he's fantastic. Um, really a great uh, transportation beast. And then things just started falling into place. The first thing was that, let me hop off the Quetzal here. I don't remember your name. Uh, Nelope, that's right, for Penelope. But she has no pin. That's right. So the first thing I think we should talk about is Maleficent. Uh, yeah, level 788 uh, Torpor Drake, or, or Poison Drake. I don't know how you want to say it. We're getting dark already? Come on. This is a bad spot for being dark all the time. So that was a gift from Keep Six. And I kind of didn't want to take it, but at the same time... I needed it. I really did. I had to just be able to get around and do some things. And uh, honestly, it has been fantastic to have a really strong flyer more than anything else. The torpor part of it, I haven't really taken uh, a great deal of uh, use in. A lot of these, however, were just things that attacked me. Um, of course, Nelope wasn't, but you know, this, this Sarko. Um, dude, I'm going to move you. Can I move you out of the way? Can I move you up a little bit? I'm going to scoot you a little bit. Come on, buddy. Let's scoot up, shall we? Are we stuck? We're all stuck on each other here. So they're following one of the passive birds. So if they do get attacked, they come back to here. So but anyhow, so the Sarko attacked me. I knocked him out. He's level um, 117 now. And that's, uh, that's a definite improvement from when he started. If he was any higher, he would have killed me. There's an elite di or Dillo, Dilophosaurus, under here. You can ride this guy with no saddle. I think that's cool, the elite animals you can actually ride, or at least the ones that I've found so far. Uh, Dilophosaurus are just creepy little things to me, but that's all right. That's all right. He's good. Barno the Carno has replaced Attila the Killa. Um, he uh, was not, he did not attack me, actually. He was someone just, I mean, literally, I don't even remember who it was, Log something. Didn't get a chance to talk to him. They rolled in and dropped it. So, you know, I hate to see people getting killed by... Um, dodo birds and yeah i'd been getting killed by a dodo birds so he gave me this and again i didn't want to say no although I, all i did is bring him back here um i had a utah raptor oh he's inside my bad we'll talk to him about him in a minute but he attacked me um this adolescent scorpion was just a baby and came in to camp and i thought well this is an opportunity it's been growing forever and still isn't matured same with uh stripey cat over here kids love the name Stripey for our striped tiger striped cats. So his name is Stripey. Nope, rubber banded. Getting some of that today. I don't know what it is. Um, or why it is. I know what it is. So Stripey joins us. He's still an adolescent as well, so I can't do much with him, but I'm hoping, you know, I've got I've got good plan. And then we have the base that we built here. This is nothing, really. Uh, I'm not 
I am, all I did is let me build a hole that I won't die in. So basically we're just inside the ruins. And again, I'm planning on building something a little more grandiose later on. Let's get some light on the subject here since we're in here. Light fire. This little fire pit's great. There's a there's a better one, like a hearth fire or something like that, which actually has a cooking thing on it. It's kind of cool. But again, this Uteraptor came in and I just he was a baby and didn't try to attack me, but I thought if I left him, you know, he'd kill me. I shot him with a an arrow and, and he went down really fast and was tamed really quickly. It was surprising. He was level sixty, I think, and now he's eighty seven. I don't want to leave him running around because there's a lot of Uteraptors around here that will definitely, definitely kill you. Uh, smithy, supplies, what have you. I built a fabricator for the first time. Um, what? Okay, that's how I keep forgetting cheese up there. Put, built a fabricator, but haven't done anything much with it. Um, just one of those things. Uh, this is Burns. He's a BA. Um, he's got the fire aspect. I believe it is, because he looked like he's on fire. And then uh, he came up and uh, actually attacked me as well, now that I think about it. And, yeah, I was able to... Uh, she, she wasn't level 416 when she came in. But for her, I needed her. And Maleficent is the ultimate. She came in and, and just nuked it, knocked it to the ground, and I'm like, okay, there we go. The uh, the BA, uh, however, and the rest of them have been falling to either my pike, which is very good at these things, or the fact that this server has a couple of mods in it that just, I'll show you. Let's just go with Trank. T-R-A-N. There we go. This guy? Yeah. All right. I had to, you know, I had to buy some other stuff ahead of time, but that's okay. I had more stuff than I knew what to do with, evidently. But, um, Trank Arrows? No, no, no. We go with Sniper Rifles. Sniper Rifles. Um, Trank Darts and 30cc Trank Darts. I made, these take 50 narcotics, which was a lot to me. So I only made, I only made three or four of them, but the first one made it all worthwhile. I popped the first person in the area was this pteranodon burns and um yeah i can't what what what's the problem here come on come on see you later somebody's leaving so but um yeah yeah so i i, I hit him one shot and he was level 260 i think 240 maybe i don't i don't remember exactly but he was flying by and i thought you know worst case scenario he flies away Popped it and meow, crash. Done. So, how cool was that? I thought it was very cool. So, the sniper rifle worked really, really well. Um, again, Gray Mary got with, with uh, this guy. I have to say, I should probably take Maleficent back. And uh, I'm probably going to take Maleficent back. Now that I have a little bit of a foothold, that's all I really wanted was just a chance to be able to get over here, build a box, live in the box. Uh, and not get immediately killed by the Alpha Raptors and things of that nature. So, while I do have a, a small army out here of creatures, none of them other than maybe Carno or um, Barno the Carno here can do something worthwhile. Even, I mean, once maybe the, once they're grown up, maybe the Sarko really needs to level up a lot. And this guy, Nelope, was 63, I think, or 64. And let me tell you, it's been a long haul to find things lower level that um, that she can level on. So that's going to be my next my next goal, I think, is to get her leveled up to where she can actually stay alive and take care of herself. So, But that's okay because we've got a base started. We've got a fair amount of, uh, let's say, firepower down in there. Not a lot. I, I know we can get wiped out pretty easy on the server. But I think I'm feeling... A little safer. A little safer. So, as in, I can take um, Nelope out. I can take her over there and do what I need to do. Get the... Because there's a ton of metal and... What? Oh, my torch broke. That scared Scared me. So, the thing always breaks. It breaks pretty quick, evidently, but I use it a lot. I should do that gamma command thing that everybody does, but I really... I don't know. It feels kind of cheaty. I like it better when it's a little dark and spooky. What was that? Was that something down there? I, got, I don't know a lot about Quetzals, but this one's eyes are glowing. I 
are, they, are their eyes supposed to glow? I didn't think they were. But, um, you know, what do I know? There's another one. So getting a lot of prime uh, dodos. Alpha dodos on the beach. Now, they're not aggressive, fortunately. But they will destroy you. And I don't know what they drop or what they're for. But it's not the... Uh, the kibbles or anything like that. I, I don't know what it drops. So I'm not going to find out for a little while either. It'll be a while before I'm going to be regularly farming the, the crazy bin here. But it's coming, I swear. It will happen. So we're going back over to Starter Isle because, again, I told you the dad gamer's playing. And um, I just have certain little rituals that uh, I think are funny or, or useful in, in a game like this. Let's just park you here. You're going to stay here. And what I've been doing for the dad gamer is he keeps logging out out here, which is a bad idea. It's not that bad, I guess, but, you know, the cold or what have you. There's no telling what might happen. So just to give him some help, I do died and put him in a safer place, basically. Let's see, I can take about half of that, probably. Let's put all this back on her. Do, 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 do. Alright, so, um, but he logged out last time over on his boat. I dragged him, dragged him inside. So, I don't think he realizes that you starve to death if you stay, you know, this thing isn't feeding you, buddy. You know who's feeding you? You know why you're alive? Because your buddy Al comes and feeds you. That's right. So, give you some food. Make sure you've eaten. As your food is 100. Oh, I guess somebody else fed you. Well, that's cool. All right, well, here, have 200 rocks. What's your weight now? Oh, that's not enough. 183 of... Oh, no, that's good. 189 of 125. There you go, buddy. That way you don't blow away in the wind, right? And when you get up and you're not able to walk, hopefully you'll figure it out. Ha, 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 ha. So, yeah, that's my ritual right now. Just so you know, if anybody plays uh, and, um, and finds me lying out in the middle of nowhere, please cover me with rocks so I'll be safe and warm. All right? So, yeah, here we are back on Starter Island. Um, ready to get moving, take on the day and what have you as soon as the sun rises. Oh, wait. Oh, is that lag? Oh, that was bad lag there. Oh. As soon as the sun rises, we'll be ready to go. And I'm just going to be leveling Nelope up, hopefully. We will see how that goes. I'll be back with you in a bit.